Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and in today's video we're going to have a little look to see just how awesome overclocking really is. And to do that we're going to overclock absolutely everything on this desk right now. So in here this is the Inwin 101 case, inside of it I have a Ryzen 1700 CPU, got some Kingston memory, I have a Asus Trix GTX 970 graphics card and I also have triple LG uh, monitors but I can't quite remember the product name. Basically everything that can be overclocked we're going to overclock just to see how well it then performs and to do that we're going to use two benchmarks. So first up we're going to run Cinebench just to have an idea of how much we improve in a you know a normal benchmark scenario but then because gaming is incredibly important we're also going to run Forza Horizon 3 which is an incredibly stressing game to a computer and so it's a great way to see if we can actually improve the playing experience as well as the normal numbers you know the FPS versus the actual experience of playing. So with everything at stock speeds we got 1407 points in Cinebench and here in Forza Motorsport Horizon we're getting 74 FPS. Uh, this is of course with the display at 60 Hertz so we should be able to overclock higher than that but right now I just have everything on high settings with VSync turned off and we're getting about 74 FPS in Horizon and 1407 in Cinebench. Let's start with overclocking the CPU. This video isn't about how to overclock, it's just the effects of overclocking. So I already know that I can easily push this one to a multiplier of 39 for basically 3.9 gigahertz. So let's do that now. So moving our Ryzen 1700 from the standard boost speed of 3.7 to now 3.9 gigahertz, we went all the way up to 1594 on the Cinebench multi-threaded score from the previous 1407. Let's go to Forza Horizon C if this has any impact whatsoever on our frame rate. So as I expected, not changing the GPU has no influence on GPU performance. So we are at 74 FPS right now, just like we had before. Ryzen CPUs really like high clock speeds on the memory, but I got really cheap sticks. So hopefully this little boost from 2133 to 2400 is going to help me. Now this won't work for everyone, but my sticks are pretty lucky, so they will overclock. So while upping our memory clock speed had no effect whatsoever on our frame rates, here in Cinebench we're now at 1610 instead of 1594. So that's a tiny little bump. All right, so let's overclock our GPU then. I already have an overclocked profile, so that's 150 megahertz extra on the core and 400 on the memory. Let's apply and reboot Forza Horizon. So overclocking our GPU a little bit clearly had some impact because now we're averaging 80 FPS, which is rather nice. Now let's move on to overclocking the monitor because what's the point of 80 FPS if you can't display 80 FPS? So as a final overclocked product, this is my middle monitor. Um, it's actually the worst clocking one, so I'm gonna have to change the position of my monitors. But this one can go up to 66 Hertz, so that's a 10% overclock. And the other ones could actually go up to 75 Hertz, so I'm just gonna have to swap my monitors around. Because, you know, eSports titles, I only play them on the center monitor. But while it's only 10%, and you guys on camera definitely can't see it, because I'm filming at 30 FPS, but it's actually quite nice improvement these six extra hertz that we're getting everything looks that little bit smoother and it really helps out a lot but i guess it's actually the most important thing to overclock even so i'll definitely uh, put a link to evga's pixel clock in the description below so make sure to check that out all right and so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please press that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll do a full tour of the new office when we get to like 10,000 subscribers and I do a subscriber update. But if you want more frequent updates, there's Instagram and Twitter linked in the description below. If you have any questions about this video or about the channel, again, descriptions below, especially if you have questions about this video, obviously I'll try to answer every one of them. And for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.